Hello beautiful crafty people, Michelle here and welcome to my makery. Now I've already recorded this video a couple of times um, and made mistakes and then I recorded it right through and went to upload it and it wouldn't upload for some reason so I'm breaking it into two parts and we'll start with the first part. I um, had got a wee order from, well start at the very beginning. Hello everybody, it's Michelle here and welcome to my makery. Did I say that already? I can't remember, I'm sorry. Um, I had the day off today which was fantastic, but that means I have to work on the weekend. Never mind. So, what I've been up to. We will start with um, Litz's Crochet Cal 2024. Last week's... Um, projects were glasses cases and I made three. I didn't use patterns for any of them. I made this one out of Red Heart Super Saver Retro Stripes and I had my sunglasses in this one because they will just get scratched to bits in my bag. I made this one, it's also a drawstring one, out of the yarn I had left over after I made my tutor plant. And then I made this one, which is using that yarn again, but held double with, um, held with a, a scrap of the Karen cake, just some of the dark blue I had left, um, after finishing the Victoria's German Shells blankets. Okay, so the next project that Litsa drew out for this fortnight is hot pads no not hot pads pot holders so I thought right and I went looking for pot holders and this is the pattern I found this is called the stargazer pot holder by this pixie creates it's on her blog um but it also I think it's a free free download or is it just on I think it's just on her blog sorry but this one um and it's a double thick pot holder, so you do make two, a front to the back, and you crochet them together. This one I made using, it is, sorry, crinkle crinkle. I used this, which is Abbey Road 100% cotton, and it's called Freedom. And this was from Spotlight. I made this one, which is double sided, and then I made this one is the same yarn but I held I used um, a plane in between and I have this much left so yeah so I made those two they are the stargazer pot holder from this pixie creates and this yarn is really soft nice so then when um let's drew the thing on saturday saying that it was going to be pot holders i was like hmm, let's have a look oh. and i i looked online and everything and most of the pot holder patterns i was about to say recipes but patterns um used like sugar and cream and i can't re get that yeah, like it's not something I can just go to the store and buy it's something I have to order from somewhere else so um I went online and I ordered some from a place called Ribbon Rose which is in Auckland in New Zealand and it does deliver I think it delivers to Australia as well so I'm going to show you a quick little haul I got some of these stitch markers because the locking ones, I like the locking ones, but I don't like the locking ones, and I thought I would give this a go. I also ordered myself a 3.25 clover hook, because mine has done a runner. I don't know where it is. And I also got some of these Knit Pro um, wool needles, and they're the ones with the, with the little loops at the top. I've already lost one, and I've broken one. I'm doing well considering it's only Wednesday and I think it arrived I only got them yesterday anyhow and I also ordered this which is Cecia 
batik. I didn't realize when I ordered it that it has a sparkle in it. So it's not fit for purpose, which is good because this is how it came. I'm a bit miffed about that. This is how it came. If you're going to sell me like a, a munched up skein of yarn, I could have got a discount or something because that's, I paid full price for it. It almost looks like someone started using it and wound it back up again. So, um, and then I got some sugar and cream. I got, what did I get, eight balls, I think? Yep. So I got blue jeans. I got red. I got it crew. Didn't come like this. I did that to this. Um, country yellow. Same thing, I did that. Um... One rose pink, white. There was no rhyme or reason or method to my madness. I just chose colors. What's that one say? Mod green. And Purple. So those are the colours I got. And then I've made a couple of pot holders out of those. So I made this one holding three um, strands together. It's a Pentagon, yep, Pentagon pot holder. And that's a free pattern. That's a free download from. Um, I didn't write it. Oh, Lovecrafts. Free download from Lovecrafts, that one. And that was using the denim blue, the Et Crew, and the red. So it's that one. And then I made this one. And this one I just made up. It's just a circle. You know, you just increase, increase, increase. And then I put a scalloped border on it. Um, and it's just it's a single strand one. So it's all right for putting something hot on. But I don't know if you'd want to use it to grab something hot out of the oven. Might just end up being a washcloth. Not sure. But I mean, if you fold it over. But anyway, so those are my pot holders. So that's four so far. I might get a couple more done. Because <sighs> we've got tall. Not this Saturday, but the following Saturday. So been on a bit of a roll um, and then and then and then where's my blanket I've been making a new blanket called the sapling blanket by Elizabeth Moreno and that is um, free on her blog I believe but I bought the I bought the PDF it wasn't that expensive and I printed that out and I'm doing that um, at the same time as Terry from the Yarn Joy podcast is doing it that's why I'm doing it she was gonna do the blanket and I was like hey me too and I did the same with the Victoria's German shells blanket she did that now I'm using in the pattern they use us to keep his well um, I do have one, but I don't want to use it because they're really expensive. Um, so what I'm using is, um, what am I using? Lime Brand Mandala in the colour Fairy. So I've used the cream and the brown and I thought I had, oh, here, here it is, I've buried it under all sorts of things. Oh, I should have known it was here because it's still connected to the ball of yarn. I'm a complete womble today. Okay. So this is what I've done so far. It's not that much. I think I'm up to row 21 or something. Round 21. 
but I'm enjoying it how it's looking except there are quite a few rows that are just single crochet and as you're getting further out it's taking longer to do that oh. so um yeah but it's very pretty and different stitches it's a stitch sample blanket so so that's oh and I've been working on this other blanket I wanted something that I didn't have to think a lot about to work on and so I'm making a corner to corner and so this is my corner to corner so far it is being made with stallion pancakes which are a discontinued yarn from spotlight I bought these when they were on clearance about I was gonna say two but I've been told multiple times by my children that my concept of time is terrible. So I will just say more than two years ago, I bought these on clearance. I have 12 of them. I have, this is almost two complete balls because I'm holding two together. So, um, yeah. so you get the black and white together and then the greys together. And then it goes into the black and whites again. And then it will go into the grey. Um, then I'll change to another ball. And it will be more black and white. And then the greys and then more black and white. So, yeah. Oh, sorry. So that's, that's that project. That's what I've been up to. I don't think there's anything else. I've dropped everything on the floor. Um, how's everybody doing? I've had a bit of a rough day, but it's okay. It was one year ago today my father passed away. So it was quite nice that I had the day off work today. Um, it just happened that way. So that was quite nice. I just sat around and crocheted and went and visited my auntie, which was nice. And my cousin hung out with him for a bit. Oh. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to go now because I don't have much to say. And this was really boring and I'm very, very sorry. But um, I will try and link in the patterns and blogs, etc. In the description box below for the um, blanket and pot holders. The corner to corner I mean most people know how to do corner to corner if you don't head over to see Terry at Young Joy Podcast because she has a fantastic tutorial and that's where I learned how to do it so um yeah okay take care stay safe and I'll see everybody next time bye